Hello there. My name is Wendell and Davis. I'm a certified life, health, and weight coach, and I work as a mind coach at Vitality Weight Loss and Wellness Center. I love figuring things out, and I love sharing what I'm learning with you so that you can create healthy habits and get the results that you want, because I promise it feels so good to become the version of us that we can, because anything is possible. So this is chapter 111, the secret to consistent habits. How many of you are struggling to get that habit that you know is better for you, but it's so hard, right? We have this big vision that we want for ourselves. We want to weigh a certain amount. We want to earn this much money. We want this dream or that dream, but sometimes it seems so out of reach or we try so hard and it's not working and we want to quit, but that doesn't help you reach the goal, right? So here's a different way to think about it. And this one is called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. It is the principle of reaping huge rewards from a series of small, smart choices. What's most interesting about this process to me is that even though the results are massive, the steps in the moment don't feel significant. Whether you, you're using this strategy for improving your health, relationships, finances, or anything else for that matter, the changes are so subtle, they're almost imperceptible. These small changes offer little or no immediate results. No big win, no obviously I told you so payoff. So why bother? Most people get tripped up by the simplicity of the compound effect. What they don't realize is that these small, seemingly insignificant steps completed consistently over time will create a radical difference. So the small things do add up. Let me show you how with the example that he uses um, with a penny, okay? So I'm gonna give you two choices. We're just pretending. So I have $3 million cash that you can have right now, like that would be nice, or a penny that I'm gonna give you and every day I'm gonna double it for 31 days. So which would you choose? How many want the $3 million cash today? Because wouldn't that be nice? How many of you want the results of what you're working on today. Yeah. How many wanted to lose X amount of pounds today? Yeah, that would be nice, right? Or the penny and double it over 31 days. So here's how that works. On day five, person A chose the penny. They only have 16 cents. Person B chose the $3 million cash and they're laughing at you. Then we have day 10, person A only has $5.12 and person B thinks you're a fool. Then we have day 20, person A has $5,243 and person B is still laughing at you. Then day 31, you have $10 million, 737, 418 and 34 cents, yeah. So you can see how that penny doubled consistently over time, added up. And so it is with anything that you choose to work on consistently over time, it will add up and it will give you a huge result. But like with anything, there's that choice, right? And the compound effect is always working. So it's working in your favor or not right? So whatever habit you're wanting to change, when you keep doing the same thing over and over, you get the same results. Um, what if you're causing great harm? Because you're doing more damage to your body and you're not being healthy, right? Or that compound effect of that one healthy thing every single day, you're getting great strength. So what if you did a small something every day? What would that look like? Maybe you need to drink more water and less soda. Maybe you need to exercise and maybe you need to get more sleep. So what's one thing that you could do consistently over time? So mine, one thing that I did three years ago was I wanted the kitchen counters cleared off. 
I wasn't good at that because I was going so fast. I would just pile things up and run on to the next thing. And then, of course, I caught my time in what I was doing. I was spending a lot of time on emails and a bunch of garbage that now I realize didn't matter. And I'm making the choice to give 15 minutes to my kitchen counters. And the result is they're clear three years later. I know that small little thing done consistently that next morning when I go into the kitchen, I'm like, good job. It feels so good to have at least that one section. Now I try for all of them to be clear, but that's not always the case. And that's not a problem. But for one thing I've done consistently for three years, it works that I chose for 15 minutes to get off my emails and into the kitchen and I got the result I wanted. Now I'm using my small step consistently to go to bed earlier. Going to bed 15 minutes earlier, I can wake up 15 minutes earlier and that really helps my morning routine. So then I'm not rushing and um, failing <laughs> because I'm not getting all the things done that I want to in the morning. 15 minutes is making a huge difference. If you have your, on your schedule to exercise for 30, but you don't have 30 minutes, what if you did 15? Something's better than nothing. Or 15 minutes of walking every day. It adds up, okay? So what are you gonna work on? What's your small thing that you wanna do? And you work on it over and over and it becomes so consistent, then it becomes automatic. And then it's a habit that is successful and lasts forever like drinking water, getting enough sleep, eating the vegetables, eating your protein, those things that you're desiring that are reducing the soda, even reducing the sugar. Those type of things are so doable when you break them down into small steps, something that you can do consistently over and over and over. And then you move on to the next one. Then this journey of life habits becomes sustainable and you're creating the healthy version of you that is the best investment ever. Small things done consistently give you support and a foundation for all the healthy habits and changes you want to implement. It means you showed up. It means you didn't give up. It means you did something and something is better than nothing. So that's the secret, my friends, to consistent habits. It's doing the small and simple things over and over. Those add up to great things. So in our crazy world that's so busy, this is doable. So look at that vision for yourself, what it is you want, why you want it, what are your steps? Pick one of those steps and see if you can do it over and over and over again. And it becomes so co consistent that it becomes automatic. Yay. Okay, another great tool. You got this, my friends.